2009 exercise tutorial. So this is where the rubber hits the road for lesson nine as we work our way through a few problems and see how your uh, learning is going. So the way this works is step one, I'm going to ask you a question, you pause the video, have a go at answering it. Step two, play on a little further and I shall give you a hint. Then once you've finished the exercise, play on a little bit further. Step three, I'll give you the answer, but not only the answer, but a worked explanation of how we got there. And then step four, continue to the next question. So here's our first question, an AVO 8 multimeter, which is an analog type multimeter, has a sensitivity of 30,000 ohms per volt. Determine the resistance of the meter on the 50 volt and on the 250 volt ranges. So we're looking for the internal resistance of the meter on each of those ranges once we know that the sensitivity is 30,000 ohms per volt. So pause the video here and have a go. Okay, so here's a, our hint. What does ohms per volt indicate? The very fact that the units that we use, ohms per volt, should give you a good strong idea about how to solve this one. So again, pause here. So here's our two answers. 50 volt range first. So the R is the ohms per volt multiplied by the voltage range. So in this particular case, we've got 30,000 ohms times 50 gives us 1.5 meg ohms. So 1.5 million ohms. Just repeat the process now for the 250 volt range and we have 30,000 times 250 this time and the answer we get is 7.5 meg ohms. So we now move on to question two. So question two says from the circuit below determine the voltage across R2 and the voltage across R2 with the meter connected at 20k ohms. So the first one is get the voltages across R2 without the voltmeter and the second one with the voltmeter. We've got a volts total of 12 volts, R1 is 5k and R2 is 10k ohms. There's a couple of ways you can find the voltage. So pause here. So here's the hint, um, R total and uh, find the current and use that to work out the voltages or if you know about it you can also, it's a voltage divider so you could actually use the ratio of the resistors as well. So here's how I did it. I worked out what the R total was and you can uh, see up here we've got 15k total that's pretty obvious 5 plus 10 is 15k i worked out the uh, the current total so v on r giving me 8 milliamps so pretty easy to then to work out the voltage across the 10k resistor without the multimeter so v2 is simply 10k times 8 so that's the current multiplied by the resistance giving me 8 volts. So without the meter I've got my 8 volts across R2. So then what we did is we just paralleled R2 with the resistance of the voltmeter. If you remember they told us we had 20k ohms so there's 20k R in here so 
parallel lows too and that tells me the parallel resistance is 6.66 K or 6,666 ohms I then worked out the new R total so that's the 5k plus 6.6 .6 gives me 11.6k I then worked out the new current which would be 12 divided by 11.2 giving me 1.02 milliamps now flowing through the circuit and then I worked out the voltage giving me 6.8 volts across R2 in parallel with the meter at 20k and the important thing I wanted to point out to you here is there is at least 1.2 volts difference here so the voltmeter loaded loaded the circuit and caused an error in the reading so this reading here as an error caused by the fact that we put the meter into this kind of circuit moving on question three the following readings were taken using a short shunt of an element it's a heating type element the voltmeter reading was 240 volts at a resistance of 10k ohms and a current at 5 amps. Determine the resistance using volts and current, the current through the voltmeter and the true resistance of the circuit. So pause here while you think about it. Here's my hint. Always, always, always draw the circuit and then last step transpose get the values that are in parallel etc etc you may have to transpose your parallel equation so here's my uh, the way I worked out the answer so the resistance with the meter in circuit volts so the R is the volts divided by the current. So 240 divided by 5 tells me the internal resistance at uh, 48 ohms. So the current through the meter, I can then work out the current because I have the internal resistance of the meter, which is this one here. I take the 240 volts divided by the 10k and I know that I've got 24 milliamps I then uh, parallel my 48 ohms is equal to R in parallel with 10k so we're trying to find the value of R I simply go 1 on 48 equals 1 on R minus 1 on 10k that's our parallel resistance equation and I simply transpose it that 1 on R has got to equal 1 on 10k minus 1 on 48 so I simply work out what the inverses are subtract them and invert it back and the true resistance value is 48.23 so with the 10 with the 10k voltmeter method it came out at 48 but when we actually worked it out it was actually 48.23 ohms so the true value of this resistor is 48.23 R so the amp voltmeter method worked as long as you take into consideration the value of the voltmeter in this particular case it was only a small error caused by the voltmeter being put in circuit and you can see because 48 ohms compared to 10,000 ohms is only a very small amount but it did cause this small error so 
for point two three. Question four. In the circuit below, the voltmeter has an internal resistance of one milliohm, and the leads have sixty-two and sorry, and reads sixty-two volts. The ammeter has an equivalent resistance of zero point one two ohms and reads zero point zero nine two amps. What is the value of R? So again. We have two meter readings, we know something about the meters, and we've got to work out what the value of R is. So pause here while you think about it and have a go at it. Here's the hint, calculate the voltage across R by subtracting the voltage across the ammeter. Okay, let's move on to how I did the equation. So I simply worked out the voltage drop across the ammeter. We know that the ammeter is um, 0 0.92 amps through it. We know it has a resistance of 0 0.12 of an ohm. So I worked out that it had 11 millivolts dropped across the ammeter. So I'll just turn my pen on here for a tick. So I worked out the voltage drop across here at 11 millivolts. So we know the total voltage across the circuit was 62. We told that in the question, 62 volts. So the voltage across R simply has to be 62 minus 11 millivolts. Of course, it's going to be a very small difference, but nevertheless. So that gives me 61.99 volts across the resistor. I know the current through the resistor because I've been told the current up here. And I now know the voltage across the resistor. So R equals 61.99 divided by 0 0.92. So R is B divided by I telling me that it is 673.8 ohms is the value of the resistor. So that brings us to uh, the end of our exercise tutorial for lesson 9. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about um, loading of ammeters and voltmeters.